Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you how I made this Oreo cake with a white chocolate splash. Now, just like always, before we begin, I'm going to remind you, if you need any tools or supplies or anything like that, if you check in the description below, you'll find links where you can find pretty much anything you might want. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I filled this cake first of all. I made uh, just two six inch cakes. I cut them in half, so now I've got four sections, and I'm filling them with chocolate pudding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a buttercream icing dam on the outside, as you can see there, and then I'm going to fill it with chocolate pudding. Don't overflow your dam, and then it might squirt out a little, but that's okay. Now match up the marks. I showed you this in another video, I think, how to put marks on the outside of the cake so when you line them back up, it'll sit proper again. Now when I'm making multiple layers of a soft filling like this, I'll put a dot sometimes in the middle and I'll stagger it around because I found the outside, the buttercream holds up really well, but then the center is a little softer. So you might end up with a little bit of a sag in the middle, like a saggy old mattress. So that's what I do. I just put a little dot of buttercream in the center just to give it a little more support. And just keep on stacking. You can't go too high with these cakes. See how jiggly it is? It's terrible. So don't even try to dirty ice it on the outside or anything like that. I'm going to show you what to do here. I smooth off the icing on the outside. It also helps just fill in the edges, make sure the dam is nice and firm. Wrap it up nice and tight in some saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever brand you buy. And then stick it in the fridge for a while, for like half an hour, an hour even. Once it's cooled off, the pudding inside or whatever you got, preserves, whatever, are going to be nice and firm. And then you can do the icing on the outside. I'm not going to cover it with fondant or anything, so I just let it, you know, put a big thick layer of icing on the outside. And I thought it was kind of boring and I didn't know what I was doing, so I put some sprinkles on it too. I just poured them around the bottom of the tr of the cake like that. And using the back of my spatula, I'm just pressing into it. And I just thought it looked pretty. I've seen cakes with a, you know, little border made of sprinkles. And it's cute and colorful. So I figured, eh, why not? Because I don't know what I'm doing here. So I did it. And I didn't want them to go up too high either. Because I know some people, they make amazing cakes where it's like real thick at the bottom. And then it kind of trails upward. I wasn't doing that because I had just a little cake. It was a little baby cake. So I just want a little bit of colors, a little bit of sparkles. So once I had enough on there, I took it over to the trash can and tipped it over just a little. So all the loose stuff fell off and then there you go. All right, here's how we do the chocolate splash. This is attempt number one. I got a balloon cause I'm like, oh yeah, they poured over a balloon. And I got my hot chocolate on there and I'm doing my thing and then ba-bam it will explode and it'll scare you. And if you watch, you can see me flinging chocolate strands all over the table because it scared me. <laughs> okay, so number two, I realized, okay, I'll use a water balloon. So that way the water can cool the balloon enough that it won't pop and it worked, it was great. Except when I went to pop the balloon, the balloon stuck to the chocolate. So it's like, okay, that's no good either. So this is attempt number three. And number three is a water balloon filled with warm water, not hot, just warm. And I rubbed it with a little bit of butter. So I kind of greased it up. And then I put my hot chocolate, my melted chocolate on top of it. This is just straight up chocolate, by the way, candy maker's chocolate. It's not, you know, ganache or anything like that. And it worked really well. So you can see I'm putting it on top. I'm kind of dribbling it over the sides. And also, you know, I'd like you to notice my alien balloon that I used because yes, like I said, I pulled this out of my tush and I found balloons in my son's room and they were aliens. I'm like, all right, well, they're going to the cause. So stuck it in the freezer, take it out, left it alone, pop the balloon, poured the water out. And as you can see, no balloon stuck to it. It lifts right off. You just have to be a little careful when you pull it off. There you go. See that? It worked. Now, I do see that I have a bunch of seams, like where the chocolate overran the balloon and onto the cup. I'm rubbing it right there. I don't know. I mean, Honestly, I should have used a bigger balloon, I guess. Then that would not have been an issue. I could have put less chocolate on it so it didn't run down the sides as much, or I could snap those little suckers off. And if you rub any of this, you know, enough with your finger, the warmth from warmth, excuse me, from your finger will smooth off any rough edges and will polish it right up. So I really could have, but I was going for long drizzles on the sides. So I didn't want to lose too much of the length. So I just was dealt with it. You know what? It was my first try doing this, so good for me. I didn't do too shabby anyway. 
So that's all I'm doing here. I'm just kind of using the heat of my finger, like I said, to rub off some of the major seams so it looks a little bit smoother, a little bit better. And now I know for next time, and now you guys can learn from my mistake. And don't use just a water, a regular balloon. And make sure you grease it. Okay, I'm taking the rest of my melted chocolate and I'm pouring it over top of my cake. And this is going to be more of the milk kind of idea. And so I'm using my fork, my very specialty tool fork there, to spread it to force it over the sides. But be careful if you're like me, you don't go too far because that warm chocolate will pick up the icing and it will melt it. And tap it down like I did there to make it nice and level. And ba bam There you go. More special techniques, right? Shake and tap. I use a little bit of chocolate on that Oreo to glue it in the middle of my splash. Take my splash and stick it in the middle of my cake while the rest of the chocolate's still soft. And now I'm just accenting it with some Oreos. I cut them in half. I'm using pieces of dried spaghetti to stick them along the drizzles that went down the side. I couldn't stick them in the drizzles because it had hardened by this point because it was just chocolate and not ganache. I guess you could make it into ganache if you want and take it that extra step. But, you know, whatever. You do you. And just accent it however you want. You know, finish up your cake. So I'm using my last little piece there with a little bit of extra. Stick it on the top. Make it look lovely. And, yeah, there you go. So it's not too shabby. Not too difficult once you know the trick. So hopefully you liked this video and found it entertaining. You enjoyed my mistakes there. I have a lot of other videos out there, so please check them out. Please like and subscribe. It actually really does help me. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Cake Tasta Cakes.